Let me tell you something you already know. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. I want to talk to you about the most fascinating, sophisticated, innovative, and progressive hitting approach you're probably ever going to see and ever going to hear. I'm showing you some hitting clips of some very good hitters and some other hitting clips of hitters who are struggling and who are dealing with hitters angst. During this past year, my exhaustive study and research in hitting and timing and how there's timing to the vision has reached a pinnacle where I've come to use this phrase. Hitters are really swinging the bat with their eyes. It doesn't matter if it's baseball or it's softball. Good hitters are swinging the bat with their eyes. And it's so simple, sometimes so logical. Where I aim my eyes is where I'm going to swing the bat. What you're watching is an example of a hitter who cares more about the ball and the ball's next position than he cares about his swing. For most hitters, hitting is that simple. Much has been said and documented and reported about a hitter's launch angle. This may be hard for you to believe, but I've come to learn that hitter's launch angle is directly hinging upon their eyesight and timing their vision. Even when a hitter is, is, is hot, they can take a bad pitch and make it look good. They can take a bad pitch and turn it around. Hitter's angst, it's one of the biggest detriments that interferes with the hitter's depth perception. If you're looking at examples of hitter's angst, and hitter's angst is even manifested in, in Major League Baseball players. With my 25 plus years of experience of being a hitting coach, I really believe wholeheartedly the most common problem hitters experience in the games is hitter's angst. Where do you begin to learn how to swing with your eyes? And where do you learn how to begin to how to deal and cope with hitter's angst so it doesn't arise in a game? It starts with listening and learning. Video number seven in my video series, The Best Hitting Drill Ever. I strongly advise you if you're a fast pitch softball player, if you're a baseball player, this is a video series you will go back to time and time again. As a baseball player or a softball player, you want to play as good as you can be while you're still young and get the opportunities to help push you and propel you forward to play baseball and softball at a higher level. So while you're still young, make the investment. Start training with this knowledge because knowledge will always increase in value. I'm Dave Kirloff, Language Learning.com.